run defense, what did you see as far as uh, what did go right and, and how do you go about uh, addressing that? Usually when that happens to you, you have those kind of yards, there's a lot of things that didn't go well. You know, obviously we didn't tackle well, we, you know, our angles were poor. It's just not one thing, it's obviously a combination of a lot of different things. And, and it wasn't any one guy or, or one particular defense, it was a whole you know, conglomeration of a lot of different stuff. How confident are you that you can fix that going forward? We're going to have to try. We have to fix it. We don't have much choice. I mean, you, cannot, you cannot win games like that, giving up uh, 400 some yards minus the sack guard, but 382 yards. So that's not going to win many games. Thank goodness our offense played great and did a great job of scoring points. Going away from the base defense early, is that, did that contribute to, to some of the problems? No excuses, not at all. There's nothing. There, there wasn't anything there that. We hadn't been aware of it, but we just had to do a better job. Coach, would you say fundamentals could have been part of the issue? A lot of times in opening games because of the tackling, okay, but that's not an excuse for some of the things we did do. Our tackle ratio wasn't bad, you know, we just missed some, we took some bad angles and some long runs, it shouldn't have been 70 yards, they, they split us, but it, so that should not have happened. But any time in the first game, usually when you've had a long law, we've been in camp, we're used to different, seeing different things. When you do get into the first half, you have to survive the first half. And we did a very poor job in the first half. I, you know, I, and I thought it was indicative on the first series when we could have a lot of opportunities to get off the field in third down. We did not do it. The flip side is the secondary did a, a, a very nice job. And, you know, touchdown passes allowed again. Yeah, uh, how, how, that's a great job there. There was uh, they did a great job in the secondary. We put a lot of pressure on them there in the fourth quarter. Instead of trying to shoot the juice there and get as much as we could, we had to get the ball back in the way we possibly could. Coach, after the game Sunday night, uh, Jim Moore said, We're not going to let the, the euphoria of that great comeback affect fixing what they need to fix. Is, is that easier said than done? The whole country is talking about what happened Sunday. Well, I thought, you know, Coach Moore made a great point in the locker room saying, We're going to enjoy this tonight, get back to work tomorrow, and then give the day that we have to give it when we came back from yesterday. We started off a little lack of days ago, the coach got on the way to win and got it going, and uh, I think he put that long, long behind us. Hawaii has a young man who ran for like 202 yards this weekend. Statistically, it's easy to look at. When you look at the film of what he's doing, what do you see? No, any time like that, it's a combination once again. It's not just one guy. A lot of guys are doing a lot of good jobs. Other people are blocking, staying under blocks, doing a good job. It's a whole bunch of different things that contribute to all those factors. Coach against AM, and Chigozzi played a lot more snaps in the second half, especially down the stretch. Was that kind of just a matchup thing? You saying that he was a, like a matchup against them with the hot hand thing, or was no, he was tired? fresh? He was he was ready to go. I, you know, I got to give him a lot of credit to play. He made it to the end of the game. He was a tremendous hustle play. Coach Angus McCord does a great job here. You guys have practiced a lot. You hear me? all get out of the stack, get out of the stack, and that's what he did. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's it is a game of inches, right? He did a heck of a job to get to and pull him down, and uh, so it was a great effort by him. responded to that adversity, did it make you make it easier to maybe go to those situations again? No, it's, I'm not a big fan of that. But uh, you know, that's like playing Tums defense, you know, and Ian Asin. So, no, no, I would rather not do that. I, you know, that's not exactly a sound way to go about well, winning a football game. I think the Bears mentioned that uh, there are a couple of cold plays that kind of caught them off guard and went to the Eagles. When you look back on tape, what kind of around that? Well, you know what? I don't think so. I mean, I think we're okay with that. There's always going to be plays the first game that you have to end up playing them with. You just have to play. We can't prepare for everything. Just like this week, there'll be things we haven't practiced. We don't have so much practice time to go over and watch it and do it and see it. And, uh, you know, and then it's, it's not only that, there's a lot of times with the different combinations. You have some young guys who, some of the older guys have seen things. They'll adapt pretty quickly. Uh, the younger guys, you worry about them a little bit. Here we are in a big game, and we didn't give them a slip, but they've got to learn how to play whatever it comes up. Last question. What does the short week do for you as a coach? Yeah, the short week's tough. I think it's tough for a lot of guys, because, as crazy as it sounds, because you get the game done Sunday and Monday, you're already a day behind. Uh, a lot of work, a lot of guys staying up late trying to catch up, to play catch up on some of the game plans and cards and scout team stuff. That's what it does. It's not easy, but our guys have adapted well. Thank you. Thank you very much.